Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Winter. If you're here for the first time, I'm glad you're here. And if you're coming back, I'm really glad you're back today. It's Friday, folks. Yay, another week gone by. They fly by, don't they? Just brink, <laughs> they are gone. All right, we are doing scripture writing messages. And the one today is, I love this one. <laughs> You'll find out in a minute. <laughs> Matthew chapter 18, verses one through three. At that hour, the disciples came to Yeshua, saying, Who then is greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Verse 2, And he called a child to himself, set him in the midst of them, verse 3, and said, Amen, I tell you, unless you turn and become like children, you shall never enter the kingdom of heaven. Heavy. Meaning, Jesus is emphasizing the need for humility and a willingness to learn and receive from others just like children do. How can I apply this to my life? This is my life. I have, I have lived this my entire life. Coming from someone who refuses to grow up, I understand the importance of being childlike in the way I view God and Jesus. Children don't question authority. They just do what they are told with complete trust. That's why it's important to come at our faith in God like a little child. When I was a kid, my mother was always telling me, you're immature, you're immature, you're immature for your age. And I never saw that as an insult for some reason. She could insult me real big time, but that was never an insult to me. She even tried to hold me back when I was going into the seventh grade from the sixth grade. And the teacher said, no, it's too late for that. Don't, you're going to wreck her life if you do that. So I didn't get held back. And I was young for my age in school too. I started school when I was very, very young and I was always a year younger than everybody else in the, uh, I've got a message coming in here. Hold on. Okay. I got to wait for that to go away. Um, I was always a year younger than everybody else in my class. So I, I was a year younger and I was immature. So there you are. And I've always been immature. I'm still immature. I absolutely refuse to act like a grown up. There's no reason for me to act like a grown up. I do all the responsible things I need to do. Absolutely, but I'm not I'm not against having fun as an adult. I'll get down on the floor and play with my grandchildren as an adult. I couldn't even see my mother getting down on the floor ever, let alone my grandmother ever getting down on the floor. <laughs> and I'm sure you see it in my videos if you watch all of my channels that I've had out there. I'm very immature. I am very childlike, and I'm very glad to be that way because that's how the Lord wants me. He wants me to come at him with complete total trust in what he has to say and what he wants me to do and everything. I have a daughter who wanted to be a minister, which was shocking in and of itself, knowing who she is. And she stopped believing in God. And we were in the car one day and I asked her, why did you stop believing in God? And you know what her answer was? I started thinking. That's what she said. I started thinking. And I've heard more people who have walked away from God. That is always their response if I ask them, why did you stop believing in God? I started thinking. God doesn't want us to think. He wants us to rely on him for everything. What we think, what we eat, what we do, what we say, where we go, how we get there, the whole nine yards, where we live, how we conduct our lives. He wants us to rely on him for everything and just let him guide us like sheep, 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 because we're his sheep. And we don't want to be sheep to the slaughter. We want to be his sheep who hear his voice. So that is my Friday message. I hope you got something out of that. Once again, book in the description, PDFs in the description. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a blessed weekend and I will see you on Monday. Bye.